Hi everyone, Donut here. I finally got kind of my setup. I'm still using the beer pong table here, waiting for my desk to arrive here. But for now, we can do a shooting breakdown. You'll never believe it, guys. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department shot someone. This is a very short shooting, but as far as tactics go, probably couldn't have gotten any better. This is shooting number 17 this year for the LVMPD, meaning that they have tied with the Chicago Police Department. Chicago, which has had 3,600 other shootings that weren't policed this year. How did this start out? There was a shooting on October 27th by Mr. Maurice Parker the morning of this officer-involved shooting. The suspect shot into a vehicle with a 40 caliber Taurus and no one was injured. The local gang unit asked around for a little bit and it turns out the suspect works at a local convenience store. They drove by the convenience store later that night and saw the dude work working behind the counter. The gang unit and two patrol officers went into the store and told the suspect to keep his hands interlocked behind his head. Do not go to the store. Do not move. Put the hands on top of your head. Yes, sir. Turn around slowly. Do not look move. Do not go on your knees. Your hands on your knees. Stand up straight. Do not move. Yes, sir. Interlock your fingers. There are several angles of the shooting, and I'll show you where the officers are right here. You have three gang officers here in front of the counter. You have the two patrol officers here with their tasers out. And then you have another gang officer here right behind the suspect. From a different angle, we're looking through the body camera of one of the patrol officers. He has his taser out. The three gang unit guys right here, one with a shotgun one kneeling with a pistol, another one standing with a pistol, and to the left of the officer whose body camera footage we're watching right now is the other gang officer. One of the officers is giving the commands, which is normal procedure, because if everyone's screaming, then you don't know what's gonna happen. He's saying, hey, keep your hands interlocked behind your head. Don't move, don't move, the guy's fidgeting. And then he reaches into his waistband and pulls out that Taurus that he used to shoot into a car earlier that day. He starts to turn to the officers and they all fire simultaneously. Do not go to the floor. Do not move. Put the hands on top of your head. Yes, sir. Turn around slowly. Do not move. Do not go on your knees. Stand up straight. Do not move. Yes, sir. Interlock your fingers. Stand up straight. That's all I got. Don't, don't step to your right. Keep your hands on top of your head. I can't tell what guns they're using exactly from the footage other than, of course, the shotgun from the three other officers with pistols. One officer fired one round from a nine millimeter pistol. The officer with the shotgun fired one round from his Remington 870 shotgun. One officer fired eight rounds from his Glock 19 nine millimeter. And the last officer fired three rounds from his Wilson Combat 1911. All four gang officers fired their guns and the two patrol officers that had their tasers out didn't get a chance to fire primarily because the guy reached into his waistband pulled out a pistol and the gang officers kind of handled business there tactics wise we got a bunch of fire superiority here which is how you want it to be with someone who you you got a you got a good idea of just shot into a car earlier that morning might still be armed and you're trying to arrest them turns out the suspect didn't even get his gun out of his holster. There's not really much more to say about this one other than crime really doesn't pay, kids. I'm going to be over at Twitch as soon as this video is released. Come hang out. Other than that, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Whacker.